Howdy guys, this is Silent Senior 09! We're back with more Let's Play Banjo Tooie! Yay! <clears throat> Excuse me. Good lord, man. Detonating on me already? I'm trying to clear my throat here, and you're gonna sit here and do that. Don't you know you can choke somebody doing that? Seriously? Seriously, you can actually do that. You can really, like, make somebody gag. Gag, like, till they're, like, blue in the face because of how bad you farted. Anyway, sorry. We're starting off rather lovely like, charming like. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Jinjo Village. There's, uh, believe it or not, there's quite a bit of, that we have to do today. Dude, get up there. Seriously? Are we gonna do this today? Do you really want to do this? <laughs> Sorry. That just reminded me of the comments section of, um, the Versus channel when they were doing, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Race, Josh Jefferson attacking two cans. There were these two people that made accounts, and they both called them Kapora Gabora, or I'm an owl, one of the two, I can't remember. And, anyway, long story short, there's like an inside joke that it all started because of Tyler, thanks to him, attacking Toucans, that is. He, uh, he did a little run-in joke where he kept making Cape Borg Gabora say, I'm an owl. I'm an owl. Dude, he just says it really subtly. It's, it was at first it was like, okay, whatever. But I guess now it's kind of actually like a thing, and because <laughs> so many people are doing, doing like a running joke with it, it's actually become kind of funny. You know, it's not like the arrow, take an arrow to the knee thing, though, thankfully. That looks like a Banjo-Kazooie game pack! I wonder what's inside! Mmm, let's find out. Come here, buddy! Come here, little buddy! You, 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 you cute little buddy! You little buddy! You take it, eh? Aw, I'm so, so bad. Oh well, guess we'll take a key here. Yes, yeah, sir! It's the Fable Banjo-Kazooie Ice Key! I wonder what it opens! Surprise is out. Already? We're gonna fall on our face? Jeez. Man. I'm doing y'all some justice. All for all those who are supporting me. Good lord. By the way, thank you so much, you guys are awesome! Woo! I just wanna give y'all big hugs, man. Y'all and air high fives, whatever you prefer, it's cool too, you know. Keep so keep it cool, yo. Check it on the mushy stuff. No, for serious though, you guys are freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Y'all who have been supporting me thus far, and you've been keeping up, you know, with my material, and even if you don't keep up with it, and you eventually get around to watching what I have to offer, that's perfectly fine. I'm legit. That's perfectly legit, because there's a lot of people out there, some more entertaining than I am, for sure. For shizzle, man. And just the fact that I actually have really dedicated fans, you know, you guys are just, oh my gosh, you amaze me. I seriously don't deserve to have any of you as fans, you know, if... Or even if you want to consider yourself fans, you know. You can probably consider yourselves like, eh, just kind of watch it because I just want something different. And, or Nintendo Capri Sun's not updating, or maybe Chugga Conroy's not updating what I want him to update. That's cool, too. I'll live with that. Why am I going here? I'm a dumb butt. Oops. <laughs> I, for some reason, was thinking we had five Cheeto pages. Nope, that's next time, buddy. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oopsie, I made a poopsie. Kidoki, what, what did I come here for, actually? Oh, I know what I did. I know why I came here. Duh. Well, dude, hello. If you knew what you were going here for, why didn't you do it the first time? Jeez. Already starting off real lovely, like you got, dude. What? What? Just. I. Uh, I don't even. This camera, man. Already gonna start in on the camera problems. I'm not even playing Super Mario 64. I'm already having those issues, man. Seriously. That's actually, that's a game I've contemplated playing sometime, but I'm like, eh, I'd better wait a little bit. I don't think you guys are ready to see another one of those for quite some time. <laughs> and it's not to say I won't ever do it just because it's been overdone to death. It's just, I gotta feel it, you know. I gotta feel that tonight's gonna be a good night. Even though tonight is an awesome night. It's a spectacular night because I'm just I'm in such a freaking good mood! Oh my gosh! Can I be in, in a better mood? Actually, I could. I could be. There could be some baked cookies out there. Not that my fat, not my little chunky self needs it. Geez, I got a chunky little booty. You know, big old booty. My big old booty. People ask me what's shaking. I say the ground that where I walk. <laughs> no, I'm not too too bad really, but I do need to shave off shave off some weight really. You know, it's a ch it's always a battle, honestly, for those of us who are overweight or consider ourselves overweight. I think I am overweight, honestly. 
Well, it's a Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious blue secret egg. I wonder what's inside. You said that last time I had the dang gum. I don't even... Yes, about what the key does. That's what it was. Jeez. Well, we got another mysterious item by the looks of things. I guess we're going to have to hold off on what, finding out what these mysteries do and just continue on with our uh, adventure, shall we? We are actually, I think, done doing backtracking or otherwise uh, picking up junk, if you will. So I'm going to meet you guys back in Wooded Hollow, actually. So see you guys in a moment. Oh, man, my foot itches. Ugh. Or actually, that's my ankle, not my foot. If my foot itched, then we have some serious problems. I'd have to take care of that athlete's foot, you know. Not that I'm an athlete, you know. <laughs> You gotta actually be active to do that. You know, I'm not nearly active, but... Anyway, what am I talking about? Hey, guys, we're back. Um, we are in Jiggy Wiggy's Temple once again. We have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 2, so I dare say, let's begin. Did I say serious? Did I seriously say Jiggies? I meant GOOD NUGGETS! Alrighty, so like before, let's take out the corners and the edges. Easy peasy, no? Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Ay ay ay! Actually, I think there's a character I actually called that. Or actually, no, maybe that's a catchphrase, a character I remember watching did. Yeah, I remember a while back I played a video game, it was for the PS1, and it was like a puzzle game, basically. And there was a character that went, Easy peasy lemon squeezy! It was one of those games you could just easily forget. I couldn't tell you the title if I remembered it, but I think it was some. It was a puzzle game, I remember that much. Wait a minute. That portrait. That character on the left in that picture looked familiar. Eh, oh well, whatever. Probably not that important. We'll come back to, We'll probably be seeing that shortly, you know? Alright. I'm a-firing my laser! It's charging time! Behold! The power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Mustache fart. Oh, no. Ooh, nice. Allo Hags Plateau. Looks like a nice, ginormous honeycomb of a bear. Oh, how are you gonna open it? Okay, blast it, and... Oh, we could have done that! Oh, sorry. Had a bit of a Drake and Josh moment there. <laughs> to which, like, one guy responds, Then why didn't ya? <laughs> okay, so we are indeed the chosen ones, and we actually have enough Jiggy Wiggies to attempt. A chimped? Were we chimps? Woohoo! Oh, because we got gold nuggets on the brain. We're going to go ahead and do it now while we're here. Get it done, get out of the way. Because I'm going to have to come back here and do this, like, make a special trip over here. Because, I mean, we're already, we're already going to have to make backtracking trips right after we finish up uh, World 2. So I'm like, well, you know, let's save one less item on the list we have to do. It's kind of like, um, I don't know how you would put it, scheduling time, balancing your time, pacing yourself, if you will. You have X amount of homework assignments due in a week, and then you have Y amount of days to do it in, and you have Z amount of energy, so let's see if we can't calculate this to where you're not burning yourself out, yet you're getting everything you have to get done, done, you know, successfully for your classes. That's kind of like this in gaming, I suppose, but thankfully in gaming, you can, it's pretty flexible. You know, you can kind of schedule it however you want to do it. In my case, though, I kind of have to schedule things to where I have stuff recorded ahead of time, so that way I keep having material for you guys day by day, if I can. I'm trying to get it to where I can do that, guys. It's really hard to do that, though, honestly. Simply because there's just not enough time when I'm in my university. Anyway, you guys don't want to hear about that. Let's witness another laser blast from our good Jiggy Wiggy friend here. Ooh, the Pine Grove, huh? This is kind of an unusual area. It's like a giant, enormous pond lake there with a lot of green grass here. Close. No entry. <laughs> I don't know if we want to go in there, man. I remember when I first played this, I didn't really care for this world, actually, until I learned a few moves there. Then I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. This is kind of fun, actually. I think mostly because of the fact that it was just so hard figuring out what to do there that I honestly lost interest in that world. Alrighty, so let's leave the polished museum floor here and go on. Go on. Quan! I don't know. I was I was drawing a blank there. I was thinking of a name, but I didn't want to be. I didn't want to sound like I was some kind of. Uh, what's the word? 
stereotypical ignorant fool who just says things that he thinks is funny, but really it's really offensive, you know? I'm just saying. Just saying, you know, you don't need to be so offensive. Why you gotta be so offensive silent thing, yeah? Okay, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just being stupid. Or stupid. I'll say stupid just because stupid's too much of a resemblance of Nintendo Capri Sun. Yeah, I'll admit, I have a bad habit of wanting to quote things that he does, but I can't... I mean, can you really blame me, guys and gals? Like, seriously, I mean... He's freaking... He's a really philosophical kind of person I've gotten to... I don't... I mean, not know, but... After watching, like, tons and tons of his material... Hey, I hear Jinjo. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, I feel sorry. Poor Jinjo. Get out of here. Really? Seriously? Get out of here with your big nose, your big schnoz. And blow your boogers all over my face, you nasty little bird. Oh boy, here we go. Now's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Huh, <laughs> that was clever. Learn and burn. Learn or burn? More like it. A brand new egg you have acquired, now I'll tell you how they're fine. Tap bar to get your eggs on view, tap it again until it's right for you. Haha, uh -huh, one more syllable than you need it. Shut up, punk! Uh, looks like you found it tough. Looks like you need some rations. Oh, well thanks, I appreciate it. That'll be all. Day is the best. And so he goes off again. So now we have access to fire eggs. Sweet. So let's go ahead and grab the musical notes that are up here. So I saw a couple. And then right behind here, this is kind of sneaky of them. Yeah, but a honeycomb ring right here. And that honeycomb ring is actually going to play a very important role here. So let's go up this ramp. Into the beehive. Or what I'd assume it would be. Ooh, look at all the sticky floor. Blech. I feel kind of bad making Kazooie walk us there. Hi there, Big Bear. I'm Honey Bay, Mistress of Honey. Aww! Why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies instead? Oh, because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. <laughs> I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, wasp lady. I'm Honeybee, a bee, not a wasp. Right you are, hornet girl. <laughs> God, so mean. Oh, well, you have enough honeycombs for two more units of energy. <laughs> Do you, like, want to trade? Sure. Sure, honey. <laughs> Toss your honeycombs over here, then, big bear. Whoosh. Looks like you just throw them in her crotch. Nice. I don't even want to know what that means. Alright, so we got two extra in it, uh, energy units. Looks like the next time we come here, we're going to have to actually grab five honeycomb rings. Now, the reason I said you wanted to grab the honeycomb ring underneath this house is... Um, the first two honeycomb uh, energy units are one and three rings. As in how much you need to have to get them. And... I don't know, I just... It's better to have more life than not to, and not need it than to really need a lot more life and not have it. And that's me failing epically quoting some somebody that I remember hearing talked about. But anyway, right up here you'll see a lovely fire switch. So let's go ahead and looks like kind of a meteor actually or sun. That's so cool. I like that. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but that gate opening up is like. It's like just so official. It feels so official now that we've entered here. You know, kind of like we just got our license or something. And driving or something. Speaking of which, I finally, for the life of me, I don't know how this happened, but I guess Tallahassee took their sweet time doing what they needed to do. In Florida, I mean. Tallahassee being our capital of Florida, of course. But they finally got my license, driver's license to me. I don't know what took them so long, because they didn't... Because I, like, I kid you not, guys... Ah, true story, I probably told this a while back, but all the way back in February, I paid for my license to be updated and mailed to me. And it apparently didn't get mailed until April, like, 4th or 6th, and it took them, like, two weeks just to get here, because I didn't get the blessed thing until, like, well, I guess I'll, I'll knock off a week. It took about a week just to get here, so wow, I don't know. For blessing things, these eggs were made. Don't you stand close when fire grenade. 
Yeah, it's too bad they only gave you 25, but with good reason. They're pretty powerful. There we go. Miss, miss. Sorry, I was trying to do an epic one, but I had a burp flowing through my throat, and I'm like, I'm trying to cut back on that, honestly. It's not that I don't mind burping in front of the mic, it's just I get tired of doing that in every video. And it's not that it exhausts me or anything, like I'm lazy or something, it's just, I don't, I don't know, I don't find it funny anymore. Whoa, I was walking on, like, nothing there, that's cool. I have very special spell, but need legendary Mega Global. Let me guess. I bet there's only one of these Mega Globo thingies. And it's really hard to find. Heard correct? Now, go find it. You don't have Mega Globo. Return when do. You demanded of a little stink. Jeez. Let's go swim in your pool and cool, and cool off, man. I got sweaty freaking armpit odor, leg odor, and probably. Goodness knows what else kind of odor. Maybe bird odor, too. I don't even want to know what that smells like. Sweaty pits. Jeez. Ugh. Gross feeling. Anywho, so that, that's just information for FYI for y'all. Kind of something you can look forward to. But for the time being, now that we have grenade eggs and fire eggs in tow, I would skip to World 3, you know, just to be a bad butt about it. Haha, <laughs> I said bad butt. Um... But there is a move actually in World 2 that I would like to pick up, so we're going to have to just stick with the sequential thing that we've been doing. But we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie, because I see we're running out of time here. Thank you so much for watching, love you all very much, please so much, Tail Slap. And as question of the video, what grammar rule for English do you struggle with? And by this I mean anything that, you know, like, example, spelling the three different types of theirs, you know, distinguish a difference, like, there, as in T-H-E-R-E, -E, there, as in T-H-E-I-R, or there, as in T-H-A, or T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Apparently, I struggle with the rules, too. Uh, uh, this is Jiggy Wiggy's Altar of Knowledge. Uh, uh, Press B to view the Mighty One's wisdom. Hmm. Anyway, leave in the comments what English rule you struggle with as far as grammar is concerned, and I'll be glad to read them, as always. Take care, guys, and next time, we'll see each other in Glitter Gulch Mine. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.